Oh, there's a fish. Oh, it's a good one as well. Dave and I have decided that this winter we're going to do a hike up the Ribble Valley in search of pike on lures. Subscribe and follow us as we venture up this beautiful stretch of water. What a beautiful day. I think gun and run today, Dave. A few casts and eat, swim, and then move from up and up, and up the river. Yeah, yeah. Have you any weights on yours? Yeah. Just the, uh, it's about, I think it's about 10 gram weight on mine, seven to 10 gram. Right. But I always do it with these cold for 18 centimetre perch anyway, Dave, because uh, just gets them down a bit that quicker. Yeah. I think my coffee perch, Dave, has caught more pike than you all season so far. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, or definitely. Maybe. Definitely? Maybe. <laughs> I'm sure by the end of the season that won't be the case, though, Dave. Wouldn't it be great if one of us manages a 20 or this, this, uh, this trip we're going on? It would. It would. We can only... But you just never know. You never know, Dave, do you? I was once barbell fishing under this tree. Yeah. And some kids started shooting at me from the far bank. Yeah, I remember you saying. Uh, happy days. Uh, rifle. You've had some good fish from here before, haven't you, bud? Yeah, I've had a few pike and perch and chub, really. Yep. This used to be my favourite barbel swim before they took the weir away as well. Right. Yeah. On to the next bit. That's right. Do you reckon you're going to catch today, really? Yeah, I do, actually. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, I do. You have to always think you're going to catch. You do. No point going out otherwise. No, no. We'll give it a good go here, Dave. Yeah, well, we've done all right here in the past, haven't we? But obviously it was early on in the year, wasn't it, when it was a bit lower and a bit, uh, a bit yeah. clearer. But this could still be here. Yep. It's all part of our Ribble Valley trek, Dave. It is. Tell me there's a nicer river than this on this planet and I'd love to go and see it. Just look at that. Some new bank erosion though, Dave, isn't it? I thought that was big flood last week. Yeah, there is. It's new since last time I were down. Mind you, it might make it easier next summer for when we're climbing down through all the, through all the nettles and thistles. Yeah, yeah. I'll try a spoon, to be honest with you. Spoons are for eating soup with, not fishing. I look a bit out of fashion, but catch a lot of fish on these spoons. What's your best fish on a spoon then, Dave? Uh, 30, just over 30. And I had one on 20, just under, 29 something. Um, I had one 20, oh, no, that was it. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting bored now. Yeah, very good, Dave. I'm sure everyone's really pleased to know that now then, Dave. Oh, I thought I had a knock then. Did you? But I don't know where it's at. Do you know where that kind of like grassy area is here when it's shallow? Yeah, it's a bit of a ridge. Is it, it, yeah, so I don't know whether it was that or not. Mind you, my hook's moved and there's no weeds, so who right, knows? Okay. This coffee perch is nearly dead, Dave. Is it? Yeah, well, I've caught that many fish on it that uh, it's starting to get a bit battered. Yeah, I see. Your coffee perch are probably okay, aren't they? I've done all right. Have you? Oh, well. I've caught... One day I caught two fish on the same lure. Yeah, you're just showing off now, though, aren't you? I still think there's a chance for at least one of us to catch something to yeah. get on it. Well, Dave, the trees are definitely starting to change colour now. They Another are. week or two, they they'll are. all be yellow and gold. And yeah. then after that, they'll all be in the river, mate. <laughs> they will, and the leaves will be off, and we'll be able to see the deer and not just hear them in the woods. Yeah. We'll see those little white tails bouncing around again. That's right. What bait you got on, Dave? I've still got me Kofi Perch, 18 centimetre, Dave. 
I'm going to switch it up in a bit though and use the chatterbait, I think, but right. I'll give it 20 more minutes on this before I change, I think. Okay. What are you on? Um, I'm on a um, pig shad. Pig shad, all right. 22 centimetre. <laughs> You've got a bit of bling on the back of that as well. Yeah, I've just put a blade on. Bit of cheeky bling. And uh, a couple of nail weights, get it down. Very good. No interest at all, yeah. yeah. No. I think it's just a patience game here, Dave. I think they're here. Yeah. It's just a question of when they're going to switch on or if they're going to switch on. But we've got a couple more hours yet, so. Yeah. Fingers crossed. I love that Western W8 rod that you've got and the Vanguard reel. Nice setup. Yeah, good combo. But uh, it's certainly a lovely light rod. Yeah. Because they cast up to 100 grand, don't they? Which is amazing, really, for a, yeah. a blank that's as thin as that and responsive. Yeah, it's, I think it's 20 to 100, but. Yeah. I know it's a stiff action, but it, it bends when you get a chub on or anything, yeah. a couple of pounds. Yeah, good stuff. So good stuff. it's not one rod that'll do everything, but uh, you know. For it's this about as close as it's going to get with that thing, then, isn't it? Well, Dave, I'm on my Gator Explorer, my, <laughs> the old trust, tested and trusted rod. Yeah. With me, uh, with the only multiplier that you never get overruns with, Dave, which is great. So my yeah. Mega Bass uh, Rhodium. Yeah. Even I can't get overruns with this reel there. No, I... Uh, feels nice as well. Yeah, feels nice. Maybe. Go down here a bit. Is it? Second cast on me, uh, homemade. Been a bit pig. What is it? Bike. Nice one, Dev. Yeah. So. Go. Four, four pounds or so. Yeah, yeah. Mm, very good. Okay. Nice long. Yeah, right, pale no blank for us again today, Dave. No, Got to keep it. this up, mate. I'll just... Uh... The way. Well done, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Hey. First pump. Boom. <laughs> yeah. That was a second. Try a different lures today. What lure are we using again, Dave? Look at that. No, just just, uh... Dave is the uh, experienced craftsman. Well, not really, but I, I like messing money. about. <laughs> As you get on a... Wire boom, I've made. Well done, Bob. Gives me an old blade. Get a lot of drag on it, really pumps. Yeah. But yeah, did the trick in that colour. Good stuff, mate. Let's catch some more. Okay, okay. Boom. Me and Dave carried on for another hour without any further success. Uh, so, this is going to be the end of this first episode of our trek up the Ribble Valley. If you want to see some more, please subscribe. See you soon, guys. Bye now.